Hey guys, so in today's video, I'm going to go over some time-saving tricks that you can use on Clip Studio Paint. Um, as you know, this is my go-to art program now, and it can be a bit intimidating for some people, including myself, so it never hurts to learn uh, a few simple tricks to make things easier. So, getting right into it. The first thing I want to go over is changing the width of your line art. So, as you can see, I have this quick doodle on my screen and the line art is completed, I guess. So as you can see right on the left, oh, right side of the screen, I am highlighted on my line art layer. So if you wanna change the width of your line art, just go up, I mispronounced that, to the filter tab at the top of your screen and there is a correct drawing line option. You click the correct line width and as you can see, this little pop-up window shows up and the width of your line art should automatically change um, it is currently on thin width and there is this um, scaling bar that you can use so the higher you go on the bar the thinner your line art gets so it's invisible and then if you go all the way on this side that's what that looks like so you can just edit that um, or you can even make your width thicker <laughs> so if you sorry if you Go to this little drop down menu of the of the content of process, uh, click thicken width, and there you go. Your line art is thicker. And again, you can scale that to be bigger or smaller. Um, so that's a kind of that's kind of a cool thing if you don't like how your line art looks and you want to experiment with um, if you want to see what it would look like with thinner or thicker line art, there you go. You don't have to redraw anything. The next trick I want to show you, which isn't really a trick, none of these are tricks, um, is how to change your line art color or your base color or whatever color that layer is on, whatever specifics, um, real quickly. So I do like to color my line art using like a separate layer that's a clipping layer, um, but that's just because I like to get really specific with my line art color. But if you want to change like whatever is on that layer all at once really fast, I'm gonna show you how. So I'm clicked on the high, or uh, I'm clicked on the line art layer because that's what I want to change. And let's say I want my line art to be uh, this bright blue. Um, so all I gotta do is go to the top left corner where it says Edit, the Edit tab, and I go down to Change Color of Line to Drawing. I click that, and there you go. Um, so you do have to click on the color you want first before you do that. Um, but yeah, and then let me show you if you do it like a Let's say that is the wrong thing. Boop. Let's say I color my hair blue. Boop. Ah, I missed a spot. Oh no. And I want to change that as well. I'll just go to nice brown color and then do the exact same thing. And there you go. You just got to make sure you are on the correct layer and that you already select the color that you want to change it to. Easy. So the next trick I'm going to show you is something I find to be super helpful and that is the close and fill bucket tool so as you know i like to go over or before i color things in i like to color it in a base color um just to be able to see like any white pixels or blank pixels or whatever and it helps with my eyesight as well i don't have to strain my eyes as much um but instead of having to go over everything oops i'm using white Instead of having to fill everything in one at a time, like I'm doing right now, there is a way to fill in any closed line art all at once. So let me undo that right now. So to do that, I'm just gonna go and make a new layer just because I don't like to affect the line art layer at all. Uh, I'm, it's too risky for me. So you go to your paint bucket tool and instead of going to any of these options or any of the normal options you're gonna go to the close and fill option right over here it's gonna be in your sub tool um, window and this is what the icon looks like and what you do is you click on the color that you want to fill your drawing in so I'm gonna go with this blue color because I always go with blue and you just lasso around your drawing and there you go it fills in everything that is within the close line art so let me show you what it will what will happen if I uh, open something up. So let's just erase a part of my hair like that right over here in case you didn't see that. Let me go over the whole drawing again. 
ta-da! It only filled in everything that is within a closed line art. Um, this was not filled in. You can close some smaller gaps. You see this tool right here, the close gap. Um, and there's different levels of doing that. But there's only so much it can do, you know? It's not going to be able to close this giant gap. Um, but that's just something I find to be super duper helpful and <laughs> saves a lot of time. And the last trick I'm going to show you, I don't exactly know what to call it, um, but uh, I guess the best way to use it would be to transform all of your layers without having to merge all of them. So let's uh, quickly color this in just so that we can see, oops, we can see um, all of the layers that is very orange but we're just gonna stick to it because why not so that's the skin layer this is the hair layer oh my gosh I should have done this earlier um, let's do a t-shirt layer like this oops I forgot some of my hair it's fine whatever and let's just finish the hair off because oh why not you know okay so as you can see we have one two three oh I'm gonna delete no I'll leave it there so one, two, three, four, five layers. Now let's say um, I realize, oh man, this picture is way too big for this canvas and I wanna add other stuff and whatever. Um, and I wanna make the drawing smaller, but I'm not finished coloring and I'm, I don't wanna finish right now and I do not wanna merge all the layers yet. So instead of, uh, if I try to transform it, oops. That is the wrong thing. If I try to transform it right now, it's just a line art because I'm on the line art layer and the colors aren't going to go with it. Um, one way to do this is, of course, by having all of the layers in one folder because if you transform the folder, everything inside the folder will transform. But let's say you forgot to use folders or you don't know how or you're too lazy. Um, all you got to do is highlight the top layer or any layer, to be honest. And then this box right here next to the eyeball right here, you click on that so that there is a check mark next to it. And you check all of the layers that you want to be transformed as well. And then you click the transform button or you press control T or whatever it is on your computer. And when you transform the line art layer, everything else transforms along with it. Wow, <laughs> awesome. Um, I could have used this a couple of times. And you can use it for other things besides transforming. So like, let's say you want to use a folder now. Um, so I'm gonna make a folder right now. And if you make a folder, usually what you have to do is highlight a layer, drag it up, but then all the other layers aren't in there yet. So you gotta drag everything individually and then things just get out of order so if you don't want to do that i'm going to take everything out i'm going to highlight the line art check all the other layers and then i can add all of the layers into a folder at once time saving or i can highlight one layer and check a bunch and delete them all at once without individually deleting everything wow so you can do this for um, like a bunch of, if you have like multiple sketching layers and you want to delete all of them at once, that's what you got to do. This trick works with a bunch of different tools and layer settings and whatever. Um, you just got to try everything out to see what works and what doesn't. So like if I tried, boop, the moving tool moves everything, no merging layers, um, but some things just won't work. I've, I, I don't, I haven't tried everything, so I can't tell you. And also that'd be a long video, but yeah, just try stuff out and uh, see what works. Anyways, those were just some of the Clip Studio uh, tips that I learned through the internet. Hopefully I'll be making some more uh, tutorial-like things that are more personalized. Uh, but until then, I hope this was helpful to you guys. Thank you so much for watching. Please be good outlets and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.